All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to Battle Chef Brigade Deluxe here on Bite Size Beefs. And yes, that is still what the series is called because it always is. It's just sometimes I say return to the channel or welcome back to Bite Size Beefs. It doesn't matter because we are making Bite Size Beefs today on Battle Chef Brigade. And I know it's been a week or so since this game has been back, but it's just because, uh, <laughs> sick. And uh, when your voice sounds like a trash garbo then, well, you, you know, you really don't record anything because your voice sounds like Le Trash Garbo. Let's see, so we got uh, serve a dish containing all ingredients from your matches theme. Uh, yeah, we could keep that on there. I think we got this new thing here, which was the dragon necklace and the slows enemies. So we got the dragon necklace and the shiv's frost bracelet. One was from the orc trash or thrash, and this was from shiv. I think we should be good. However, I'm thinking... This is a great way to have, like, really big matches, but if you want to include bone in your recipes, you gotta include just the regular dull pan that matches three. So, our next meal, I'm pretty sure, might have to come through with some sort of earthy tone. So, I'm gonna stick with an earthy, watery thing for next match to see if we can't, uh... Just throw some, uh, some stuff in there, because we've been pretty spicy this whole playthrough, right? So, let's sleep and get continued on with our journey. Everyone's cuisines are so different here. I'm going to have to give it everything I've got to make mine stand out. And not screw it up by uh, messing with the sauces and such. Uh, I can't remember if it was the third episode or the fourth episode or what exactly has been going on because it's been a week. But some of you mentioned that you did notice that when I used certain ingredients, it transformed other ones. And don't worry, I noticed it as well. So, uh, yeah, that, that'll be hopefully in the front of my mind on our next creation in the kitchen. I bet Kiki and Simon would know what to do. They'd have a joke ready and everything. Are we going to dream about home with the Kiki and the Simon? Oh no. July 4th. Let me guess, we're late for something again. Instructor, good morning. Uh, am I in trouble? Is that what you think just from me showing up? I'm checking in with all the contestants. I mean, generally officials don't show up unless there's something wrong. So, are you lying, madam? I'm sorry. Well, I have three wins on my belt now. Just four more to go. I've heard. Once you've completed that, you're cleared for the Proving Tournament's ultimate feat, Robichon's Trial. What's a Robichon Trial? I don't, I don't want to go through that. It sounds like I'm going from the fire, frying pan into the fire. The three-round gauntlet against the Brigade's most talented chefs? I've been dreaming of it all my life. Oh, cool. They explained it. Nice. Are you prepared to face the final three? Oh, is this like the Elite Four of Pocketmon? Oh man, I love Pocketmon and the Elite Four. Thinking about it just gives me chills. I believe in you. Just keep working hard, Pumpkin. I've got others <laughs> to see, but good luck today. <laughs> Did you just call me Pumpkin, girl? Who do you think you are? Thank you, ma'am. You talk to all, all the people underneath you, you'll call them all Pumpkin? Oh, yo, I can challenge Ghost Boy, huh? I guess he's reading his letters from home. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's got Slime Ghost Boy, and then he's got like a little dragon centipede in there helping him sort his mail. Like, what the hell is with this? What's with this garbage? Let's talk to him. How's it going? You're bluffing. I can tell whenever you start to bubble more. Glub blup. Aw, oh, come on, Jelly. You may be transparent, but you gotta work on your poker face. I get it. Transparent. Transparency. I gotcha. Yo, this guy. What up? Greetings. How's it going, Leonid? Very well. I hope to earn my third win soon. I'm thinking of challenging Thrash next. He's a fiery guy, so be careful. Outside of battle, he's just a big softy, though. <laughs> I heard he's a family back home. Is that true? Not he is a family, but he has a family. I don't know why I said he is. <laughs> I heard Thrash is an entire family on his own when he's back home. Not here, though. When he's here... Completely single, but when he's back home, bam, he's his own wife and kids. <laughs> yeah, why do you ask? I can only imagine being so far away from your family for this long must be very hard. You don't have anyone waiting for you back home? No, but don't feel bad for me. My love is my work. I know how you feel. Growing up, a lot of my free time was spent cooking while all the other kids were out playing. Yes, I regret it a little bit, but I suppose the time we've invested has paid off. I hope so. Going home without achieving anything would be the worst. Just keep trying to do your best. Oh, thanks, Leonid. Bye. And then we can also talk to uh, La Boys, Louis and Louis. Or Louis and Louis, if you're a Garbo person like me. 
So let's see here. Now, uh, we have to talk to this guy? Is he not letting us in the in the shop for stuff? Let's uh, let's do our regular regiment first here. Let's uh, do the puzzle. Actually, we got to find the cash cat. Where's the cash cat? Yo, do you have the cash cat? Are you the cash dog this time? Having fun? Yeah, this little guy is the best. Do you have any pets? We have a cat back home, but he's a terror. He always knocks cookware over when then hides behind my sister. Ha! No pets for me. Two kids is enough trouble. But I can enjoy this guy while I'm here, who's a good pup. Maybe I'll let get a dog one day. Maybe she will. Maybe maybe a dog is her stuff. Oh, until next time, Tita. Oh, take care. Oh, I pressed a button and it went forward. Take care. That's weird, because I only I didn't press A, I pressed left. And it said take care. Hey, mister, looks like you're finally having a good day. You! Don't be so nosy. Alright, fine. Oh, yo, what up? He dropped a note. What's this? No way! It's a love note written on a crescent... Or a croissant receipt. Or a crescent receipt, I guess. It must be for Pontita. Oh, I guess that means we can go in and give her a sweet note. We might be able to challenge him next, but uh, let's go on our puzzle journey. Get our skills back up, shall we? Colby, stop fighting with your sister this instant. Haha, <laughs> Colby's a cheese! The kittens seem extra rowdy today. Is something going on? Oh, Kieran just gave him a new toy. She means well, but now I have to deal with the mayhem. Oh god, cats and toys. You might be on your own today. I've got to separate these wrestlers. You can count on me. Yo, his sir. cats know the art of grappling. Alright, so. I'm sure you know all about ovens, but when you're in a duel, it's tough to remember anything. So when you've got multiple dishes to make, just remember to start one in an oven immediately. The oven will do its work while you're out collecting more ingredients. I wish I had an oven for yesterday's two-judge duel. Yeah, that would have helped a lot, eh? So let's see here now. Let's cook it up, huh? Alright, Let's. so it looks like we're going to have to match a lot of this fire. To burn all that we've got. And there we go. Mix up this fire! Perfect. Oh wait, no, hold on. There we go. Look at how beautiful this recipe's coming along, man. It's just mix, mix, swirl, mix. That's all you gotta do to be a phantasmagorical chef is just not screw up anything ever. There we go. And then, oh, I guess I've got to uh, cook what's in here, too, I guess. I guess I can't really stir anything, I suppose. So, it's only worth 46, though, and I need 90. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this slowly promotes taste gems? Yo, so this is promoting gems. Now, is it only promoting ones that are on the bottom, or does it go, like, s enough by enough? So, hold on. I probably should have stopped it when it wasn't like that, but... Alright, so we pick this up, and then do we add it here? And then we drop it. And that should be 90. Okay, cool. Nicely done. Why don't you take that oven with you? I've got a spare one on the back that I can use. I'll just need to clean out the cat hair. Oh, geez. So we got a slow cooker now. Okay. I sure hope he remembers to clean that oven, that other oven. Yeah, you don't want to have cat hair in your recipe, that's for sure. This will be an easy one. Just debone it first. No problem. I guess it's what this cutting board is for. So I guess you put it on the thing. And then you can cut out. Chop. Yo, that's pretty dope. So we are now getting, like, way into a whole nother set of skills we have to master. Jeez, and we were barely mastering the first few. Now do I mix them both like this? Yeah. Guess I can't mix them both. All right. Removes taste gems. Yeah, okay, I get that. So, do I have to, like, stir this so it'll be... Because I can't stir anything. So, I'm guessing it wants me to cut out this gem? I guess? And then 
add them both together? Yeah, okay, so that's what I want to do. Okay. Alright, I get you. Yo, and then we got this boy over here. So when it wants me to cook this up. It wants me to stir up a lot of good stuff. I'm not exactly sure what it wants me to do. I guess it just wants me to uh, keep creating. As you should always in the kitchen. Speaking of creating in the kitchen, today I went ahead and I made nachos for myself. I don't know, it's kind of like half nacho, half casserole kind of thing, you know? It was like a big old casserole dish full of nachos and I put it in the oven and it was delicious. But uh, yeah, no, that was fun. That was fun to do. Let's see, you know, pantry, we can add some. Oh, this will change it to fire. Yeah, because this will change the first thing it hits to earth and the first thing it hits to fire. So we want to stir this up until we get... Yeah, there we go, because we can make this earth and fire. Or rather, we want to make this earth and that fire, just like that. So we want to go into our pantry again and drop this down like that, and bam. See, and then we can stir this up, make that a huge green one like that, and blammo. Oh no, I think I messed up. <laughs> oh no, I messed up, y'all. I'm not a good cook. I'm not a good cook, man. Alright, so, let's see, it wants us to change earth and fire, so we're going to need more fire and more earth, which probably means we don't want to get our blues up just yet, because these are all stage 2 blues, right? So we want to be able to create a stage 3, or stage 2 red. And a stage two green. So with that, I think we want to change these two stage twos. Or a stage one and a stage two, I, th I think. I th yeah, I think what we'd want is a stage one and a stage two like this here. And that should be flavorful enough to make everything we need for this dish. Because we can easily just pop this over like that. And then bammo. And we can start stirring in all this fresh, delicious green. Well, hold on. we got to pop it like this first. There we go. And then, look at this. We're adding in, like, some... I don't know what green would be. Like, some chard or something. Just like that. And we can pop these blues in. And now it'll be perfect, because we got the maximum taste gemosity. Mix and match, baby. Mash in the mix. successful day. Thank you for your help, Nina. Oh no, thanks, Belk. You are for the oven, dude. That's gonna help out super, super bad, like super hard. It's gonna be great, man. Do we have to equip the oven though? Like, do I have to equip it? Oh goddamn, I gotta equip the oven. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go earthy in the next match, and we're gonna go slow cook. Hopefully, slow cook the rest of our ingredients that we need. Let's hunt up. monsters by yourself damn girl let a man know before he walks into your dead body party come on this not these are just the leftovers i've sent the rest as a gift a gift to who oh man it better not be that girl again are you sure she likes dead frogs i swear to god there was like a jimmy neutron episode about this or some shit where he's like dead frog or, or, no 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 that was that was fairly odd parents they didn't know how to talk to girls, and then Timmy turns into a girl, and AJ and Chester are both like, Dead frog? Girl, you can't dead frog, alright? No dead frog. Unless she's, like, a biologist, and she literally works with, like, dead frogs, and maybe she'd appreciate it, but... That's a very, 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 very niche lady. Uh... Damn. Alright, so what up? Oh, we're getting into a new arena! Alright, so we're gonna have to, uh. Fuck, yeah! Gonna have to learn how to get our new stuff. Yo, are these dudes on the ceiling? Because they are. I mean, yes, they are. Could also wind magic them. What if I, uh. What if I drop some food for you? Eat it. Eat it. I want you to transform. Wait, what is this? No, wait, it's like a crystal pepper. I want it. It looked L spicy. Do these things not eat? Alright. 
Oh, another jelly blob. What is that thing? Yo, what is that? You see that down there? What is this fiery beast? Oh, shit, it burns. Fire. <laughs> oh, did it just do like a combo yelp? It was like, art, art, art. That was hilarious. Man, I just kicked that thing so hard. I forgot I can have spe like special moves. You just throw daggers. Dash. Oh man, oh it's got such spicy meat. It's got such spicy meat. Hold on, I want all this spicy meat. Yeah, doesn't matter. I mean, we're just doing this for funsies. We're just hunting monsters, you know? Getting our digs on. So we can learn like combos. We can like kick stuff up and then do like half crescent kicks to pop stuff up. What is this? Oh, that's fire. Ugh. But this, oh shit. It's got like tentacles. I want tentacles. Are they delicious? Can I cook them? What kind of meat do they have? Instructor, maybe you should go next door and visit Belchior. Spending time with his cats could be good for you. <laughs> Trying to turn you into a cat lady. You want me to end up like that old fart smothered in cats? <laughs> Maybe you'd prefer being surrounded by living things instead of... You know, a, a literal pile of corpses. How dare you insult my collection? You have no idea how hard I fought to earn these trophies. I'm deeply sorry. I didn't mean to... Leave. When you return next, you had better come with more respect. Alright, whatever, dead, yes, dead bird lady. Sorry, ma'am. I'm gonna just call you dead bird lady. Because he's sort of starting to remind me of that kid from Dumb and Dumber. When they sold him the dead bird. And he's like, pretty bird. Pretty bird. That's what she reminds me of. Did I hear you say that you'd give it all away to find the love who will stand by your side? What? Why are you singing a ditty? What's going on? You have a beautiful voice. You still sound like a dwarf though, which is fine. Dwarfs are cool. Oh, thank you, recruit. Don't think I'll let you slack off because I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Wouldn't dream of it. Alright, gotta cook it up. Bam, done. Gotta cook it up. Hold on, hold on. Uh, who just said delicious? Why, why can't I turn these like I want to turn them? I can't turn these like I want to turn them. I, I'm, 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 I'm missing out. I'm missing out. Oh god, no. There we go. I'm 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 trying to get back into the rhythm, you guys. Feel the rhythm, feel the ride. Other lyrics for the song Bobsled Time. It's been a while, so I'm I'm trying to get my groove back on with uh you know, just trying to get the rhythm of which which pushing which thing goes where. I also have no idea why it's literally pulling some things and pushing them back. It must be my controller, I'm guessing. So we need that on top, and we need greens surrounding it. All right, so we can get some greens over here. No, 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 no. I need greens. I need greens and blues. No, no, no. Eh, mm, I failed. Pontita's been so happy today, and that's the most I've ever gotten out of Caesar. Pontita. Yes. Should I give it to her? I think they might actually be good for each other. Oh, uh, see, here's the thing. As much as we want to play, like, Universal Matchmaker... I, uh, I just wanted to say thanks for this opportunity. It's probably... The love note's probably not for her from him. It's probably something else. You're welcome, Nina. Now get out of here, recruit. You've worked hard enough for today. It's not my secret to tell. Hey, that a girl. They're not your friends. Now, if they were your friends and you knew both of them liked each other, then you spill the beans. But they're not your friends. You don't know them that well. So we have but some cash. Which means we can purchase some stuff. Stuns enemies and bouncing. Dagger stuns targets. Two times blue and basic blue ingredients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly... Yeah, yeah, okay. We, we, I don't think we have that. Plus, times one level three red ingredient. Oh, that's pretty cool. Abyss salt, lava pepper. Griffin talons, times five bone ingredients. Mm. Yo, a cutting board to remove taste gems? That might be 
what we call extra beneficial. It could be helpful. But let's see here now. Uh, serve a dish that was sauced times three. Serve a dish containing at least one ingredient per monster in the region. Uh, contains the same ingredient times five. That could be good too. Expertise bonus with the extra... As long as we have uh, five of the... Oh no, that would be five of the same ingredient. Not same uh, taste gem. Let's see here now. Stunning dagger. Stunning dagger could be helpful too. Double knives. Throw two daggers at once. That could be super cool. Uh, whirlwind lasts longer, moves more, and does more damage. That could be pretty cool. You know what? Actually, I don't even know what the, I don't even know the expertise one we have. But I'm thinking, let's go with something practical. Let's buy the cutting board. Something I can see immediately using instead of having all this expertise stuff, which I might not use. And then let's maybe perhaps add in a little bit of... We don't have a, a green one here, it seems. So I'm thinking perhaps maybe the next level will not have any green but uh times two basic blue ingredients uh we could we could we could grab some sapphire dew too it's one of the basic things we can buy so there we go we got some blue griffin talons though bone ingredient if you want to make something very bony so all right so who should we who should we challenge uh want to try cesar or caesar i guess let's try caesar sir would you please do me the honor of a duel Puff, puff. Come on, you aren't afraid of me, are you? I don't feel like wasting my time. All right, fine. Uh, we could... You know what? I know who. I know exactly who to challenge. Let's challenge... Slime Ghost Man. Ziggy, I forgot his name. But, uh, want to do... Or, want a duel? Winning at cards over and over is getting boring. I was just about to ask you. I remember you from the inn, but I never caught your name. Are you Siegfried? I guess. Most people just call me Ziggy. My pal here is a ghost, though. Slimes don't make for very interesting company. Right. Well, it'll be a pleasure to duel, Ziggy. Hi, you got it. All right. So we now have a uh, hit and run dashing past enemies. We could add something else, like maybe extra mana, extra health. We could set enemies on fire or freeze them. That could be cool, too. Uh, let's try freezing just for funsies. Uh, double jump is also super useful. Uh, if we're... Here's the thing, though. I'm expecting a lot of green to be in the next challenge because of the fact that we did red and blue last time. So, m let's see. Two times basic green ingredients, one times... So, we've already got the green one. Let's throw in... Let's throw in a blue to accompany it. And then we can also throw in additional green if we need it. So, we've got a ton of green extra stuff. And we've got the matches greens... I mean, if this thing is no green, we're going to be screwed. But we do have our slow cooker. And hopefully, for the love of God, it comes in handy. So let's go continue. <laughs> let's see what we can do with our new freezing daggers and our very earthy-based toolkit. I wonder what kind of recipe we'll create today. I have no idea. But like I was talking about earlier, I made nachos. They were freaking delicious. Not as delicious as my friend makes them, but... I respectable. They were good. I, I like. I would eat them again, but I need to dial in. I need to dial in some flavors. You know. I don't know if any of you guys cook out there, but like, I'm like a novice, a beginner, whatever a greenhorn is. Welcome once again to the most invigorating exhibition of culinary excellence in all of Victusia. So I, I just need a little more practice with cer certain recipes, so I can get them down pat. But here we go. We're now listening to Common, who's going to tell us. All about the next challenge. Yesterday we mourned with contestants who suffered their second loss and cheered those who dazzled our judges' persnickety palates. Like the pounding tides of the Scythian mm -hmm. Sea, the iron stomach seems unstoppable. Game right. Mina! This cryptic competitor employs a band of skeletal sous chefs. What? Is that... Is that... A do oh, no, no. Maybe he's not going to use him in the competition, but okay. He calls himself Ziggy, the fast food fiend. Yo. Do you make, like, french fries? Who's ready to clog their arteries? Oh, <laughs> dude's going after my heart. Deep frying some Ziggy. shit. Bring it on, Ziggy. I'm a deep fry. 
Today, these chefs seek to please two of the sharpest minds of our age. The first I'm proud to present is Instructor Meridane. She likes watery stuff, right? At ease, Chairman. You are no longer a student of mine, after all. My attention is focused solely on the techniques of these chefs. Be careful not to oversaturate today's dish with bold flavors. Doing so will bury the intoxicating crispness of water. All right. The next judge is the famed Grand Matriarch, Asjil. With each challenge that passes, these chefs reveal more of themselves through their creations. I look forward to learning more today. Foraging for ingredients is a vital skill. So today, I ask you to scour the Skylands for a bit of earth to ground your dish. Nailed it. Told you there'd be that earthy goodness in this matchup. Her dish is going to be on lock. This Skylands delicacy used to be so rare that it was exclusively eaten by royalty. Even now, collection requires a chef with sharp eyes and the speed of a tempest. <laughs> well, I got wind magic, so you're good there, bud. Wind fruit. <gasps> wind fruit. What the hell's a wind fruit? Vive la brigade! Vive la brigade, baby! All right, time to fight Ziggy. Bring it on. Wind fruit battle. Start. All right, so we're not gonna toss anything in the slow cooker yet, but we are gonna go get anything that's got uh, watery. I think so, there's some like some watery, earthy goodness up here. I think if we pull off, yeah. All right, watery, earthy, perfect. Is that wind fruit? Oh no, that's knocky fruit. We don't need that. But it should be good for, uh... Get out of here. I need that wind fruit. Where is it? There we go. Wind fruit. Oh, man. It's so spicy, though. Oh, it's so spicy, though. All right. Hold on. We gotta drop this. And, uh... Pick that up. Because we need to use wind fruit. Oh, no. I, don't, I didn't want to throw that. No. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? All right. There we go. We'll, we'll throw a couple of those knocky berries out. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I can throw my daggers to slow these things. Yeah, there we go. I just want to see what kind of uh, stuff this does. You know, what kind of stuff... That, oh, it's, it's very watery. All right, so these big boys are watery. I'll have to remember that. And these rats are pretty earthy, I'm guessing. All right, so we got this. I'm going to throw in the uh, slow-cooking watery dew and this stuff right here, baby. Look at that. Slow cook that all up. That's going to be my watery dish. How much time we got? Five and a half minutes? Golden. Solid. Now I need some earthy stuff. You, bird. I know you got the earth, even though you're from the sky. Give me that. No, you're fight. Oh, man, you're chicken nugget fires. Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's earthy. Iceberg turnip? All right, cool. Iceberg turnips. They are, uh... Oh, hold on. I'll get rid of some of these then. Y'all want some of this? Yo, more iceberg turnips? Is this guy pooping out iceberg turnips? What's up? Yeah, I get you. Hold on. Daggers. Uh, we'll toss these, grab that, and grab the turnip. And yeah, we'll go stash these turnips. Yep. Dash. Dash. I love doing the little dash, too. We won't even have to. We won't have to bother uh, looking for anything in the slow cooker, because uh, that's gonna be it's gonna be our big mamma jamma. So we got those ribs going good. Oh damn it, man! I right, hear have some have some wind. Where are these turnips coming from? Yo, I interrupted his combo. Did you see that? With my whirlwind kick, I was like, yacht. Where'd that other turnip go? I launched a turnip somewhere. We're gonna need more wind fruit though. All right, there we go. We got some wind fruit. You know what, bird? Get out of here. Oh, I have no magic. Or at least I tried to do my magic and it didn't work. All right, so we've got four minutes left. Let's start uh, cooking up this earthen dish, yeah? All right, so we got the grass. We'll be good. We also have this iceberg turnips, which will be good. And we also have the... We need to add in the wind fruit for both. So let's start cooking this baby up. This this should just like combo in itself like a bunch. Because it, it's all times two, right? So there we go. Hold on, we need, just need to just need it. There we go. Times two for that. Times two for that. 
and then bam, look at how good that is. So pantry, we're gonna need to throw in some wind fruits here a little bit. Perfect, and then we have to pick up, throw it in this pot. The other one's coming along okay. What? What are you talking about? Exploding people's creations? I can't hear you, sir. I'm too scared of exploding creations now. Alright, so I'm going to need more earth in this. Just a little more earth. Because, uh... The fire is getting a little too high. So we're going to have to add from the pantry... Ooh, we could throw in some earthen sauce. Oh, yeah, look at this. Boom. Nailed it. Look at how earthy this dish is, dog. Emerald grass. Could throw in some more emerald grass in there. Let's pick up and let's put this down to stir it a bit more. Once we get this all, like, gemmed up... Oh, it's gonna be so good, you guys. Earthy spicy? You have no idea. Look at that. It's, it's, it's like a full base 155. So we'll throw this back up. Throw this in here. Do we have any more spicy wind fruits? Uh, yeah, let's throw in a wind fruit. There we go. We'll need to save a wind fruit for the other one. But, uh, we don't need anything like that. No Nocti fruit. Actually, oof. Yeah, actually, let's do this. The Lichten Spice. Let's add that in there. Perfect. That's good. That's good like that. So, let's actually pick this up. We pick this up, and we can put this... We can actually present this to her now. And then we can pick this up, throw this here, and start having it do its do its stuff. Oh no, I want, I want it this way. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna need to work on this fast, y'all. Because we're running out of time. We got only got a minute 40. Alright, so take this up. Pantry. Gotta get that wind fruit. Gonna have to go in for a couple more wind fruits, though. Unfortunately. Let's throw in this liver. That's good. Oh yeah, the Amarok ribs, too. That would go good in here, but we can't. So let's uh, stir this up. Actually, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Because we're going to need the extra fires in here to get uh, get that fire out. Just like that. Boom. Uh, that's a level 2 fire, though. Oh, no. Going to need a Nocti fruit in there, then. So we stir it up. We only got a minute. But we can do it. We can do it if we just got a minute. No need to worry. I believe in my skills. Perfect. Perfect. All right, now we just need to spin this water over so it's it's beautifully watery. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Uh, we need to add some more water. Oh, we can get watery sauce. Boom. Look at that. 35 seconds. Oh, Shiza. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. But, uh, yeah, stir. Uh-oh. 30 seconds remaining. Don't uh-oh me. We got this, girl. We can do it. All right, you know what? Pick up. This will have to do. Okay, so we had like a 190 something, almost 200 dish. Thank you for your hard and like a 140. Chefs. Let's see what the judges have to say about your efforts. Yo, did that guy just make like a Philly cheesesteak? Damn, I can't win against a Philly cheesesteak. Jesus Christ. Delightful. I told you, a chili cheesesteak. <laughs> Look at that. It actually looks delicious. I'd eat that. It's got jalapenos on it or something. Well, let's see. He didn't even have any watery flavor, though, man. I mean, he had watery flavor, but it was overpowered by his spice and his earth. So I beat him on the points for that. 100%. Our first dish is... I beat him up. So Amarok Heart Wonton Soup uh, with Winfruit Assortment. Yeah, look at that. The brightness of the water is really coming through, baby. A lovely example of culinary prowess. Wait, did we tie? Did I just tie him? Quite delicious. Hello, wings? Oh, that's cool. It's like a little bat wing wings. That's cool. But he didn't he didn't use his stuff. Or did he? Plenty of earth. Oh, it was very earthy. Oh, okay. I think I got him on this, though, you guys. Beautiful taste and execution. The other competitors should learn from your example. No, he should learn from me, baby. I'm a trash him oh, with my iceberg turnip pastry. You damn right. Served with iceberg turnip and wind fruit melange. I hope you get wind fruited. Oh my god, a 246. Oh bam! Earth is the perfect stabilizer. You've captured it beautifully in this dish. 
You've managed to expertly combine your flavors in this dish. The clever twists and turns are as compelling as any novel. Oh, what's that? 435? Uh, is that more than whatever you got? Because I wasn't paying attention. No iron skillet can stand up to the might of the iron stomach. Ah! I like to eat! Minaha, win! You're damn right we win. We never fail. I did it! 366. Get out of here, chomp. <laughs> Look at that. That iceberg turnip pastry was a uh, so good. A uh, so good. Not if you wash them. Just because I get assistance from the undead doesn't mean I don't have standards. I wear gloves. See? Or gloves. I've heard stories about this kind of magic, but I thought it was evil. No offense. Huh. You and the committee. Apparently, I've got them all wild up. They want to add a new rule just to kick me out. Oh, man, no, you did fine. You did. Well, he was good, right? He, he was a perfectly fair competitor. Pretty boring culinary experts, if you ask me. They don't even want to put haunt cuisine in their mouths. Hmm. I understand their concerns. I got a jet, but look for me if you ever want to try haunt cuisine. I hear you're a brave soul. Um, sure. Yeah, man, I'll try that chili cheese steak. Thanks for the match. Sayonara. See you, Ziggy. I'm scared to know what his food's made of. Same stuff our food's made out of. What? Why you gotta know? Why you gotta know? I mean... You just killed a bunch of animals and took their flesh. Don't act like that. Oh, damn. We got spicy ketchup. Plus times two red sauces. When you're dying for some spice. Ha <laughs> Ziggy's Red Hot. That's what I'm going to call it. It's like Frank's Red Hot, but better. Because I get to use it for me. And beat my competitors with it. I should probably get some dinner, but I just want to sleep. Grab food, eat, then sleep. Huh? What's going on over there? Uh-oh, he didn't necromance a bunch of people, did he? Admit it. Your family donates to Judge Meridane's Academy. Yeah, what does that have to do with anything, Shiv? She gave you a free pass on that win. If you actually knew anything about me or my family, you'd know that couldn't be farther from the truth. Just how many of your royal family members are in the brigade? It's obvious nepotism. If you have an issue, bring it up with the tournament committee. I'm sure they'll find your accusations to be baseless. Ha! <laughs> Run away like the cheat you are! Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not running away, Shiv. She literally just told you to tell the cops. So go ahead. Go tell the kitchen cops. This was your third loss. You're out of the competition. Learn to take that in stride. You can always try again another year. Why, you... Ha-ha! <laughs> Dagger. Nina. Ah, you cut my hand! Uh, I'm sorry, but you're about to hurt my friend. We need to get an officer. Can anyone help us? Oh, goodness. I told you something terrible was brewing in town. What happened here? She just threw her dagger at me! I was aiming for your skewer. It was an accident. You raised your weapon and... It looks to be only a scratch. Let's get that wrapped up. The three of you come with me. Uh-oh, we got food detention. I've got a medical kit at the inn. What are you all standing around for? Move along! Now! I see. Shiv, you come from an honorable lineage as well. There's no need to throw dirt on Kieran's family. Your great-grandmother is the fabled Kiln, isn't she? Uniting the orc tribes by way of her cross-culture cuisine. She'd be ashamed of your attitudes throughout this competition. Of course. Taking Kieran's side. It seems to me that the only one who expected an easy win based on their background is you. The fact remains. Contestants are not allowed to draw weapons on one another in town. It's a designated safe zone. In accordance with Article 7 of the Proving Tournament Rules, you are hereby expelled from the competition for two years. Damn, a two-year ban? Goddamn, girl. What? This is bull. As for you, Mina, even though you tried to protect Kieran, you also broke the rules. Oh, uh, I cheated. You've injured Shiv's hand. And just think if your dagger had missed and hit a townsperson. I'm sorry, Instructor. You should have gotten an officer to handle the situation. 
You too must be expelled for endangering the people around you. Is this the only way? Although I understand the seriousness of the situation, I don't think Shiv or Mina truly meant any serious harm. Tensions were high. Threats were made. Kieran, say your farewells to them. They're expected to leave tomorrow morning. Man, and after I had all the greatest and greatest of undefeated victories lined up, coming down, now we don't even get to finish the game. It's over. We cheated. We threw a dagger. We broke the rules. Mina, I'm so sorry. Listen, everything is going to work out. Don't give up. Mina? <laughs> nope! Chapter over! Looks like we're moving on to chapter three! Tempest! And we're going to continue chapter three on the next episode! Because we got a, probably got a lot of story things coming up in, in a moment here about what's going to go happen with us and getting expelled. I mean, we're obviously not going to get expelled because, I mean, pfft, look, I got like th three, four more chapters to go. So, who knows? But thank you all for joining me on another episode of Battle Chef Brigade Deluxe here on the channel. And until next time, please take care, everybody.